Hi, it is John. You get a little bit more laid back version of me today. I'm coming to you today to talk to you about Team Drives. It's one of those tools that's part of Google Drive, and you may or may not have noticed it's been part of it the last couple months. Just wanted to let you know what it is and some of the ways that you can use it, whether it's to collaborate with colleagues or to use in the classroom with students. So let's take a look at it and let's get started. Let's take a look at Team Drive. To get started, after you're logged in, go ahead and hit the App Grid and go to Google Drive. You may or may not have noticed in your Google Drive, there's been an addition to it for the past few months called Team Drives. Team Drives is a, an alternative to sharing documents and folders and things with your colleagues or with students. So let's take a look at it and see what we can do with it. Start off with, we'll click into Team Drives. If you don't have anything in your Team Drive, you'll go ahead and start with New. That's going to prompt you to create a new Team Drive. So this will be with a group that you're going to share uh, a folder, a whole drive with. If you think about this, the outside folder is kind of the, the drive. So it's like a separate uh, My Documents folder, if you would. So we're just going to call this S for PD. It's going to create the drive for me. And as we start off, it tells us that it's empty. We have to add files and people to get started. So the next thing we'll want to do is go ahead and add members. Now, the cool thing about this is, is we as we add members, it's going to give them full access to everything in here. There is also another cool feature. We do have varying degrees of permissions. So we can add uh, a couple people at a time and we can set their permissions all in one shot. So one of the ways to think about it is anybody who I want to give full access to, and these are the people that can add other members to the team drive. They can um, upload files, they can create folders, they can delete files, which is huge. Um, only the people with full access can delete files out of there. So, you know, obviously you want to be careful who you give that to. So you give anybody full access all in one shot. And then after that, you can kind of step, step down the line. Now, obviously you can go in there and change access. If you are a full access member, you can change access of people. So if you give people membership, you can go back in and edit their membership. So, as we go down the line, say I want to give uh, Jill, I want to give her edit access so she can edit files and she can upload new files. She won't be able to make any changes to membership if I do this, and she won't be able to uh, delete files if I do this. Now, the other two on there, you can see that you can do comment access and people who just have view only access. So you can uh, kind of think about situations where that might come up. Okay, typically I would put a message in there and uh, let her know what's going on. In this case, because it's the professional development, I'm going to skip sending a notification and let her know what's up after we do this. Okay, so now I have two members for my folder. Now I would just add, add a folder to it. And then inside that folder, just like regular file management, I can create documents or anything like that. Okay, once I create documents, Jill has access, I have access. Okay, now another approach to that, I'm gonna click back on my team drives. Now I have two team drives. The other team drive I actually use uh, between Mike Squires and myself. So if I go into the technology team drive, it shows us the folders that we have shared and one of the cool things about this is we both have full membership. So if Mike deletes a file, it's gone. If I delete a file, it's gone. Um, the other cool thing about it is, is if something happens to either one of us, then we don't have to worry about who the owner of the documents is. It's the, the things in the team drive stay there as the members go in and out. So that's also kind of nice. Um, one of the weird things that we do need to point out and look at 
is that uh, the trash, if we do delete something, if a full access member deletes something, it goes in the trash. Now there's a difference. The team drive trash, I have to actually be in one of my team drives and then click the trash button to see what's in that trash. Otherwise, if I'm in my drive and I click the trash, that's the trash that's associated with my, my drive. So I want to make sure that I'm in the right place. So that's the only thing that's a little quirky. Um, it, it took me two tries to get used to that one because I wanted to make sure that the stuff I did delete out of the technology folder, uh, there was a picture in there I, that when I uploaded some pictures from Mike, um, it came in with it. I didn't mean for it to come in there, so I deleted it. So I wanted to make sure it went in the trash and I had to actually look again. And when I got back, I said, yep, my, my picture's in the trash. Okay. Um, as we go along, I also want to point out in your document for this professional development assignment, I'm going to send you the link. It's going to have a link to this G Suite learning suite, set up a team drive. Uh, it has the tutorial and step by steps all the way through. If you have more questions, um, you can either obviously contact me and I'll come in and help you work you through it. Or you can take a quick look here. Maybe it's a quick answer that, that shows on one of these. I also have a link that I'm going to pop in there for you by Samantha uh, Vardanega. Great article that gives kind of an overview shot. Same kind of stuff. She's talking about the team drive and how it can be used for education and some quick uses for it. Next up is from uh, uh, Indiana Jen, another education article, ways that educators can take advantage of the team drives. And this goes into details on um, students, educators, and administrators, both. And this is another one that's kind of neat. Um, Katie Seamer, she talks about how we can use Team Drive. And there, there's a slide presentation that she has embedded into her site. And slide eight is the one that caught my attention. Notice that she's talking about it. Um, from varying degrees, admin teams, uh, all the way over to the IEP 504 teams, assessment data that we could collect and, and store in that Team Drive. We have grade level teams. Um, students can use group work. Clubs, extracurricular activities can have their own team drive. And notice a great point, the little asterisk at the bottom, she says, a new team drive for each new project. So you've got different team drives with different members uh, associated with those. So a great tool. Think about how you can use this in the classroom. Think about ways that your students can use it. Think about how you can use it as an educator. Um, even if you don't have the option, grade level of students being able to use it, think about this as how you can use this with your colleagues to kind of keep yourself more organized, um, keep yourself kind of uh, collect your data in one place. So consider those things for me.